I want to like this or even love it, but I am so disappointed, honestly. It is just meh. I remember feeling hype for the trailer. Looked like it had some Turok vibes, the video games, but it's more of a mix of Jurassic Park 3 and The Martian, but in all of the ways I didn't want. It simply does not live up to its premise. First off, there's a very random text exposition dump at the beginning with Blink and You Miss It world building to establish stuff that falls flat ultimately. We know almost nothing about this world. The hook and the point of it aren't explained at all, and what the trailer implies is completely false. It's very weird thinking about this universe, the plot, and the direction it goes. It was a hodgepodge of ideas thrown together to make something that I think was marketed the wrong way. Not to mention the fact that for a 93 minute film, it feels like it takes forever to get going and is beyond predictable. Pacing aside, for a film that used dinosaurs so heavily in its marketing, there are not nearly as many as there should be. When they show up, it's really entertaining, but I was so let down by the lack of monster action for so much of it. Occasionally, there would be a purposeful slow moment, a few shots of walking, and then one more intentional slowing down slow moment. It just didn't feel tightly mapped out. It was structured very strangely. The script doesn't help as there's a little dialogue, which is fine, but what dialogue there is isn't the strongest and the opening family scene has some cringy editing and dialogue delivery, even from Driver. The editing itself was inconsistent. However, I will say Adam Driver carries this film well. He sells what little there is, making a character out of a weirdly edited backstory. Seriously, lots of qualms with the editing here. And I totally bought into his journey. His relationship with the young Koa is sweet and endearing, but ultimately hindered by the creative choice that they can't communicate. So much time in this film is spent with them being frustrated that they can't communicate to each other, that we don't get to know them as much as we should. I wish they had found a way around that, but unfortunately it didn't work. They even mention a universal translator or something that's busted. Like, have the first act set so they can't communicate and then make it so they can. It would have enhanced their chemistry and their relationship even more than it already was, which was decent. There's a lot of reminders of Enemy Mine, the sci-fi movie here, but to a much lesser effect. But still, their scenes together bonding are the emotional high of the film and found me wanting to leave a positive score. As did the visuals, which are quite nice with good CGI and fun action sequences, despite some of that choppiness here and there. I do recall some cool moments in the score and a weird but interesting idea for the credits that just doesn't connect to that overall story pitch that the film was going for. It just doesn't land. But again, 65 is marred by constant back and forth, cheap jump scare tactics and atmospheric tension. When it leans into the latter, it's quite memorable. Otherwise, it's just an excuse to remind you not to be bored by a film that shouldn't be so boring for long stretches. And that's probably the greatest crime. On paper, this is a really unique premise with a solid cast, but at the end, it's let down by strange creative choices in story, title, world building, pacing, and has a weaker script with next to no room for the exposition that it actually needed. It's just odd how they approach this creatively. But you add on the fun dinosaur scenes of which there are far too little, and you have a very boring, disappointing, disjointed, yet occasionally fun action movie. One that isn't quite forgettable because of good performances, a strong emotional core, and a couple fun set pieces. It wasn't awful, but what could have been? Just, eh, meh. I give 65, 2.5 out of five stars. Also, can we get a Turok live action movie, please? That would be epic. Thanks so much for watching. I still encourage you to give the film a chance. Decide for yourself. Subscribe, hit that like button, hit the bell to be notified of when I'm uploading more content coming soon. And remember, always look for the good.